I went to Portland State University. Um, actually, my father went there. I, that's why I went over there too, just following in his footsteps. I majored in business administration, management and leadership. There's a lot of graduates out there that don't come back home. And I think I can make a difference here with my family business and also here in the Marshall Islands. Usually the pertainers come into our lagoon and offload their catch into the carriers or the motherships. Uh, what we do is bring them to our dock and offload them straight into containers. Once the containers are filled, we'll plug them in at our dock and we'll monitor them until it is time for them to be loaded onto the container ship and transported to their final destination. Containerization is useful because compared to offloading these ships into the carriers, the carriers can be in our lagoon for two, three, maybe even four months at a time versus in a container, after they're done offloading, they can be sent off within a week or two weeks and be sent to multiple destinations. One of the biggest problems we face is we are fairly new to the tuna industry. Um, we've only started doing this for two years now. Another one is competition. Vessels are going to other countries. Uncertainty. Uh, we don't know where the tuna is. They're always moving around. Um, they'll be in the east, the west, the north. It's hard to follow. COVID-19 has heavily impacted our business. We went to offloading two vessels a month to once every two months now. We were shut down for two months and we've developed an SOP to accommodate the restrictions that were placed on the vessels. We restricted the crew members on the vessels from coming onto our dock and from our crew to have any contact with the crew vessel. We have a good reputation in offloading. We can almost match the speeds at which they offload onto the carriers. Right now, we're in the middle of reclaiming land to expand our dock. We plan to have a cold store and a processing plant within the next five to 10 years from now. If I could change my life, um, is being a superhero an option? <laughs> if not, um, I really enjoy fishing, swimming. If I could retire, I'd just be fishing all day, living on the water. <laughs>